makes Dominion Propeller so great about purchasing props from them is they take them out of the box when they receive them from Macaulay and they check the pitch at all the stations and they check the static balance. And so your chances of getting a prop that vibrates are really low because they check both the blades. If there's any, if there's any problems, they straighten them, set the pitch. Um, and I've had trouble with props in the past and take them to Dominion and they check them and one blade would be not 42 pitch all the way out. So they'd have to straighten them, set the pitch, and uh, fix the problem. So you know you got a great, pro great product if you buy your Macaulay prop through Dominion. So they come in the box, straight from the factory. Each new prop includes a new bolt kit and a new lock hook. First thing we'll do is check the track to make sure that uh, the factory got everything right. If it's off by an eighth or anything over an eighth, we'll correct it. But if it's under an eighth, pretty much a sixteenth is what we shoot for or better, um, then it won't produce any noticeable vibrations. But uh, an eighth and over, you'll feel it. Next thing we do is we always check the station angles to verify the pitch and to make sure the blades match each other. This should be a 42 pitch. the bore prop on the chart, which is a 1A175. The pitch is a 42, and that shows me all my station angles for the 42 pitch. Um, typically, between the two pitches, it'll be four tenths of a degree. And then I'm gonna go and verify that all the stations match all of these within two tenths. You can be two tenths low or two tenths high, and they'll still consider it a 42 pitch. Um, when we do pitch changes, we try to get them right on, but since the factory says you can be two tenths high or low, then if it's within that, we won't change it. Okay. Electronic blade station protractors that get calibrated again once a month. Make sure they're accurate. Um, I'll zero it to this bench. Um, each bench, just depending where it is in the shop, is a little different. 
so before we measure, we always zero the protractor to the particular bench we're working. at the tip but we like to check it just so we can make sure the two blades match each other The other thing we do in a checkout is we always verify the diameter just to make sure it's actually 82 inches and both the blades are cut to the same length. It is, we have every once in a while found it where one blade's a quarter inch longer or a quarter inch shorter than the other blade. This comes to 41 and an eighth. to 41 and an eight. So it's slightly over 82 inches, which is good, but uh, they match each other exactly, so you won't have any balance issues because of the blade line. but well within spec. Uh, the spec for them to match is two tenths of a degree and these match one tenth or better. So they match each other. The last thing to do is just make sure they're actually what a 42 specifies, which is a 
Everything's within spec. Um, these two angles are about a tenth higher than the medium, so they're still within the two tenth tolerance. The uh, it is a true 42. They match. It tracks. The uh, diameters what it should be. Last thing to do, checking on the balance stand.